More and more dialysis centers are popping up here in the Midlands. The demand is clearly there. News 19's Jenna Krasina set out to find out what's caused it and what you can do to stay healthy. They clean toxins out of your body. Essentially, our kidneys are a filter. And David Lamb, the medical director of Lexington Oncology, says 15% of the population has chronic kidney disease. There are more of the dialysis centers popping up. That's a real uh, thing. It's not a perceived thing. Once diagnosed with kidney disease, there aren't many options for treatment. Generally, that's not reversible. Generally, it is progressive. You're either left on dialysis or you receive a renal transplant as a treatment. Hence, more and more dialysis centers. If the kidneys aren't functioning correctly, then we have to find another way to eliminate those wastes. Where we use an external machine that is a filter, and essentially we run the blood through that. On top of not many options for treatment, kidney disease can also be hard to diagnose. And Lamb says 80% of people don't realize they have it. The things that you might notice is a feeling of uh, detachment from the world, being sleepy all the time, one thing which does show up kind of commonly is uh, uh, swelling, a generalized swelling of the body, and, but we can't point towards one thing. Lamb says it is typically diagnosed through a blood test, but luckily there are ways to prevent it. Our lifestyle and some of the disease processes we create for ourselves, which then affect the kidney. The two big ones are diabetes and hypertension. For Antonio Tucker, he learned about dialysis and kidney disease after his cousin needed treatment. He would just tell me some of the things he experienced as far as like being cold and weak and you know losing weight and things of that nature. And because of that, it's made him take better care of himself. Health is wealth, man. Health is wealth. You most definitely take care of your body. You don't get but one. In Lexington County, Jenna Kurzina, News 19, WLTX. Well, Dr. Erlam also went on to say that one other thing people need to be aware of is taking supplements and over-the-counter medicines like anti-inflammatory drugs.